Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Cleon. Welcome to the Orthopedic Body Shop Rehab Program. Let's begin with a five minute warm up. You can warm up any way you choose, ride a stationary bike, run or walk on a treadmill, or follow along with Paul. Please make sure you're wearing comfortable clothing and appropriate footwear. Have a towel available, and if you're doing the red or white programs, please have your resistance bands and weights close by. If you'd like to warm up for a longer period of time, please do so. As we're warming up, let me introduce you to our team leaders. Paul LaRosa, who is a licensed physical therapist, will be leading the red team. Rebecca Everman, a personal trainer, is going to lead the white team. Paul Palmer, businessman, triathlete, is going to lead the blue team. A warm-up period is essential to the success of any rehab program. During this time, we warm up our muscles, tendons, and ligaments. This has been shown to increase blood flow, increase flexibility, and ultimately help reduce injury. A warm-up period should be done at a comfortable, conversational level. As you go through the main rehab program, if your current level is no longer a challenge and your pain is improving, go to the next level. Please make sure that you review the exercise techniques for that level. If discomfort continues, go to an easier level. If pain still persists, you may want to consult with your physician. The concept of no pain, no gain is just not acceptable for a rehab program. So let's continue our warm up for the next few minutes and then we'll get started. How are you feeling, Paul? I'm feeling pretty good, Mark. Any problems? No, not at all. This is actually pretty easy. You know what? You can actually use some weights. Okay. That might increase some of the resistance, and you can actually pick up the pace, too. Pace, okay. Sounds good. Feeling a little bit better? Yes, it's good. It's all right. Work. Good. Keep it going. How are you feeling, Rebecca? I'm doing all right. Excellent. Any problems? No problems at all. How long do you um, think I should stay on the bike for the warm-up total time? Well, I think that varies on the person. You can do it as, for as long as you'd like to. I think what's important is that you warm up well, you break a light sweat, and you feel loose, and nothing really hurts. Keep up the good work. All right. How are you feeling, Paul? Uh, actually, uh, my knee's a little bit sore. Okay. I think what you can do to help with that is you can raise the seat up a small amount. That might help relieve some of the pressure. You can certainly lessen the resistance. And if you want, why don't you just slow down a little bit? Okay. That might make it a little bit easier. Thank you. But you're doing a great job. So let's continue our warm up for the next few minutes, and then we'll begin with the main rehab program. Okay, now that we're all warmed up, let's begin with our stretching program. The first stretch is the hamstring stretch. So let's everybody get into position. Let's all remember that Paul is gonna be doing the red program, Rebecca is gonna be doing the white program, and Paul is gonna take you through the blue program. For these stretches, Paul is gonna alternate his leg, while the other two are gonna do each leg together. We're gonna hold each repetition for 15 seconds, and remember, please, no bouncing. This is a gentle stretch. Okay, everybody, let's begin. So let's gently bend over, hold a nice gentle stretch. You should feel a gentle pull in the back of your leg. We're at 10 seconds, we've got five more seconds. You're all doing a great job. Okay, let's relax. Bring it back up, take a few deep breaths. No pain, right everybody? Okay, let's start this stretch again. Let's get back down. For the people doing the blue program, try and keep your knees slightly bent. You can feel a little stretch in your lower back and even in the back of your legs. That's all good and that's normal. We've got two, one, that's it, let's relax. Okay, this is our third repetition of this. All right, everybody, let's go back down and do it again. Again, Paul is alternating his legs. He should be feeling a stretch in the back of his leg 
he can reach a bit further down if he wants to accentuate the stretch. How does that feel, Paul? Okay, two, one, that's it. This is our last repetition for the hamstring stretch. All right, everybody, let's do it again. Go on down, again, no bouncing. This should be done very gently and without pain. Take some nice deep breaths as you do this stretch. We're at 10, three, two, one. Great job, everybody. Okay, the next stretch that we're gonna do is the calf stretch. As you can see, Paul and Rebecca have gotten chairs to help them for some support, and Paul is gonna use a piece of equipment to also give him support. So go grab something, and let's get into position. Okay, everybody, get into position for their calf stretch. And let's begin. As you can see with Paul, what he should be doing is bending this knee forward, keeping his back straight, heel on the ground. Hold this position. You should feel a gentle stretch in the back leg. Two, one, okay, let's relax. Fantastic. All right, let's start that again. We're gonna switch legs at this point in time. And let's begin. And with Rebecca, she's gonna make sure that she's bending both of her legs, feeling a stretch more in the lower calf in the soleus muscle. Keeping that heel straight on the ground and flat. Great job, let's relax. Okay, we switch legs again. Let's begin. With Paul, he's actually using his toes and bringing his hips towards the wall or piece of furniture. And again, he's gonna feel a stretch all along the lower calf. Again, no bouncing in this stretch and hold it gently. Okay, take a break. Let's switch legs again, the second time on our other leg, and let's begin. Take some deep breaths as you do these stretches. You all look great. You're doing fantastic. There should be no pain at any time that you do these stretches. You've got another three seconds. Good, relax. Okay, switch up your legs. All right, and let's begin. Everybody looks good. Everybody's doing a great job. Hold this stretch. Maintain this position. Again, take some deep breaths as you do this. We've got another two seconds. Okay, everybody, relax. And let's switch the legs for the last set on this side. And let's begin. How's everything feeling, Paul? Good. Okay? No pain? Rebecca, we're doing okay? All right. And how you doing over here, Paul? Fantastic. Everybody's looking great here. We've got another two seconds. One, okay, everybody relax. The next exercise and stretch that we're gonna do is the quadricep stretch. As you can see, Paul, who's running our blue team, has already gotten a chair and a folded towel. Rebecca has a great comfortable pillow, a nice mat, and a white towel to help her. And Paul has got the similar objects. So we're gonna do our quadricep stretch. Again, no bouncing and hold each position for 15 seconds. Okay, everybody, let's get down and start our stretches. Okay, so we're gonna take our right leg first, we're gonna grab it, and we're gonna start our stretches. Paul, make sure that your knees stay together, that left knee should be gently bent, and you should be feeling a gentle pull in the front of your quad. That feels good? Okay. Two, one, let's relax. Everybody's gonna switch up their leg at this point in time. And let's begin. How's that feeling, Rebecca? Rebecca wants to make sure that she's holding on to her leg, not pulling too tight. And again, if you experience any pain inside of your knee, you need to just relax that stretch a little bit and ease off. How's that? All right, let's relax. Let's switch our legs up. This is the second time for our first leg. And let's all begin. If you're having difficulty doing this stretch, use a towel. And Paul will show us how to do that. And gently pull, again, feeling that stretch in the quad. Okay, everybody, let's relax and switch up the legs.
And let's begin again. Hold that stretch. Again, take some gentle deep breaths at this time, feeling no pain. Everybody's doing a great job here. And let's relax. Let's switch up for the last set on our legs. Switch those legs. All right, and let's begin again. And with Paul, if he wants to accentuate the stretch, leading our red team, he can lean his hips in gently. But again, hold on to something for some support. Three, two, one, relax. Let's do our last leg, the opposite side, and let's begin. This is our last stretch. Let's make this a good one. Gentle, and again, no pain. You guys are doing great. Three, two, one. The last stretch that we're gonna do is the iliotibial band stretch. As you will notice, Rebecca, who's leading the white program, is gonna need an object to lean against. And Paul's gonna be using his mat and a folded towel for some support. Okay, everybody, let's get into position and start our stretches. We're gonna hold again each stretch for 15 seconds, and really, at this point, no bouncing. Okay, everybody, let's begin. As Paul bends over, he should start to feel a stretch in his right hip. Paul, if you wanna feel a little bit more, you can actually rotate your hips out just a bit and gently feel a little bit more of a pull in that region. Two, one, let's relax. Let's switch up our legs, and let's start again. And for Paul, as you see him doing this, try to maintain a straight leg in this position. Again, as we talked about in the exercise technique section, if you're having difficulty, you can use a towel to hold that leg. We've got two, one. Okay, everybody, let's relax. Let's switch up for the other side. And let's begin again. Gentle stretching. How's that feeling, Rebecca? Again, if you want to make this a more prominent stretch, you can actually take your arm and bring it over your side and you'll start to feel a stretch along your side. How's that? Okay, two, one, let's relax. Let's flip it over and do it again. Okay, let's begin. Again, no bouncing during any of these stretches. If you're having any difficulty or pain with this technique, please go back to the exercise technique section and review those exercises. You guys are doing a great job. Let's finish up this stretch. Three, two, one, relax everybody. Now that we've completed our stretching program, let's begin the strengthening program. Our first exercise that we're gonna do is the quadriceps exercise. So everybody, let's get ready. Paul, who's running our blue team, is gonna use a mat as well as a folded towel. Rebecca is gonna use an ankle weight, and Paul is adjusting his resistance band. Remember, in using the weights and resistance bands, start with a light weight. If this is too easy or too difficult, adjust it accordingly. Okay, everybody, we're gonna hold each position for five seconds, and then we're gonna relax. We're gonna do both legs for a total of 10 repetitions on each leg, okay? Let's get going, let's start. All right, begin. Okay, Paul, just remember, tighten up that quadriceps, hold it nice and tight. Okay, let's relax. All right. Actually, Paul, you can stay the same leg. Okay, let's do our second set. Here we go. All right, lift that leg up, about 12 to 18 inches off the ground. Feeling this muscle tighten, how does that feel? Okay, let's relax, come on back down. All right, let's do our third repetition and begin. Relax, how's that feeling, Paul? All right, all right, our fourth repetition. Let's begin again, everybody. Looks good, shouldn't be too painful. Let's relax, fantastic. Let's stay with that same leg, and let's lift up. Here we go. Two, one, and relax. All right, we're all doing okay? Good. All right, let's continue with our fifth repetition on this leg, and let's lift up 
Here we go. Three, two, one, relax. You're doing great, everybody. We're almost there and off this leg. Now let's do our next rep. Here we go. Let's start. Lift up. And relax. We're almost there. All right, take a big deep breath, everybody. And let's lift up that leg, hold it into position. Okay, relax. Two more to go, and we'll be done on this side. Okay, here we go. Lift up. Four, three, two, one, relax. Our last repetition's coming up. Let's make it a good one. Here we go, lift up. Five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic, okay, everybody relax. Take a few deep breaths, and we're gonna switch up our legs now. Everybody ready? I didn't hear you. Everybody ready? ready? <laughs> All right, let's get going. Our first repetition, let's go. Lift up, nice contracture here. Feel that muscle tighten. Okay, let's relax. Okay, let's do that again. Ready, lift up, hold it up there. How's that weight feeling, Rebecca? Okay, and let's come down. All right, let's go, lift up. Four, three, two, one, come down. Okay, let's keep going and let's lift up. Three, two, one, come down. Anybody having any pain? Okay, let's continue. Let's lift up and come down. You've got five more to go. We're almost there and we'll be done with this exercise. All right, everybody lift up. Three, two, one, come on down. Almost there. No pain, right Paul, you're okay? No pain, it's a lot of work. Fantastic. All right, let's lift up. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, we've got three more to go. Paul, if you feel like you need a little bit more support, you can fold this towel a little bit more for you. You want to be able to feel something to push in. Okay, let's lift up. Four, three, two, one, relax. You got two more to go. We're almost there. All right, let's lift up. Three, two, one, come on back down. All right, last one, everybody. Here we go. Let's lift up. Four, three, two, one. Okay, great job, everybody. The next exercise that we're gonna do concentrates on the gluteal region and the hamstring area. So let's get started and get into position. Paul is gonna be doing bridging with both of his legs. Rebecca, who's leading the white program, is gonna do single leg bridges with weights. And Paul is gonna be in the standing position using his resistance bands. Okay, everybody, let's begin. Let's lift up. We're gonna hold this position for five seconds. Three, two, one. Come on down and relax. Okay, let's lift back up. Again, we're gonna concentrate on tightening the abdomen and using our buttocks to lift our pelvis off the ground. Let's come on down. Great job. Let's lift back up. And Rebecca, if you wanna make this a little bit more difficult, you can lift that leg up just a little bit higher. That's fantastic. Now come on down. Take a big deep breath. Let's lift back up. How's that feeling, Paul? Good. Okay, let's come on back down. Six more to go. All right, let's lift up. Hold it nice and tight. You shouldn't have any pain during these maneuvers. And let's come on back down. Five more to go. You guys are doing a great job. Let's continue with it. Let's lift up. Three, two, one. Come on back down. All right, let's lift back up. Hold that stretch, try and take a deep breath during this period of time, and let's come on back down. Good job. Three more to go. Let's lift up. Hold it there nice and strong. Again, remember to keep that abdomen nice and tight. Come on down. Two more to go, and then we're switching to the other side. Let's lift up. Hold it up there. You're doing a great job here. Two, one, let's bring it down. Here's our last exercise for this side. Let's lift back up. Hold it in that position. Three, two, one, come on back down. For those of you doing the blue program, 
If you feel comfortable, you can continue. Otherwise, take a break as we continue with the white and red levels. All right, you two, let's do this. Let's switch our legs and let's lift up. Hold it in that position. Looks fantastic. Three, two, one. Come on back down. Okay, take a big deep breath. Let's lift back up. Hold that position. Three, two, one. Come on down. All right, we're starting to work up a little sweat here. Let's lift up those legs. Hold it into position. Three, two, one. Come on down. Six more to go. We're almost there, almost home. Let's lift up. Hold it in that position. Paul, you're doing a great job over here for the blue team leader. And let's bring it back down. Okay, let's lift it up. Hold it there. Four, three, two, one. Come on back down. Four more to go. Let's lift up. Take a big deep breath. Hold it in there and let's bring it down. Okay, three more to go. Let's lift up. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Only two more and we'll be done with this exercise. All right, let's lift up. Hold it there. Again, Paul feeling it in the back of his leg and in his rear end. Let's bring it back down. Here's the last one and then we're all finished. Okay, let's lift up. Hold it up there. You guys are doing a great job. Let's continue. Two, one, all right. That's great, everybody. Now that we're done, let's start with the lateral straight leg raise. In this exercise, we're gonna be concentrating on the outside of our thigh. So let's everybody get into position. We're gonna lay on our right hand side. Again, like other exercises, we're gonna lift our leg from our side. Paul, who's leading the red team, is gonna be doing this in the standing position. We're gonna hold each of the strengthening exercises for five seconds, and then we're gonna relax. We're gonna do 10 times on each side, and then we're gonna flip over, all right? Here we go, let's begin. Let's lift up, and let's hold this for five seconds. Three, two, one, let's bring it down and relax. Let's lift back up, and we wanna concentrate on keeping this foot pointed towards our head, okay? Two, one, bring it back down. Let's bring it back up. Again, if this position's a little too high, you can always bring it down and relax it. Let's bring it down. Let's bring it back up. Again, this is working the outside of our leg, the abductors. Let's bring it down. Let's lift it back up. Three, two, one. Bring it back down. We've got five more on this side, and then we'll be finished with this. Let's lift it up. Hold it there. Three, two, one, bring it back down. How's everybody doing here? All right, let's lift it back up. Hold it there. Three, two, one, bring it back down. Let's lift it up. Hold it. Three, two, one, bring it down. You've got two more and we'll be done with this side. Here we go, let's lift up. Five, four, three, two, one, bring it down. And this is our last one on this side. Let's lift it back up. Make this a good one. Three, two, one, bring it down. Okay, everybody, let's turn on the other side. Paul's gonna reverse himself. And let's start this side. Here we go, ready, lift up. Five, four, three, two, one, bring it down. Let's lift back up. Hold it in this position, feeling a nice, strong contraction in this side of the leg. Let's bring it back down. Lift it up, three, two, one, bring it down. You're doing great, we're almost there. Let's lift it back up. Three, two, one, bring it down. Let's lift it back up. Three, two, one, bring it down. Everybody's doing okay, no pain. All right, let's lift it back up. Three, two, one, bring it back down. Ready, let's go back up again. Everybody's doing great here, everybody looks good. Three, two, one, bring it back down. Okay, let's lift up, almost there. Three, two, one, and bring it back down. Okay, two more to go, let's lift up. Three, two, one, bring it down. Last one of the set, and we'll be done with this exercise. Let's lift up. 
four, three, two, one, bring it back down. Now that we're done with the exercises for the outside of the leg, we're gonna work on some exercises for the inner leg. The next set of exercises are intended upon strengthening the inner muscles of your leg. This is very important in the rehab of your knee. So let's get into position. The blue program, Paul, is gonna lay on his right hand side with his left foot behind his right knee. Similarly, Rebecca, leading the white program, is gonna do this with her ankle weights. And Paul, utilizing his resistance band, is gonna wrap it around the right ankle and place his left foot and support the band. Okay, we're gonna work on lifting that lower leg up and hold that for a position of 12 to 18 inches off the ground, if at all possible, for approximately five seconds. We'll do each leg 10 times and then flip over for the other side. Okay, let's get ready and begin. Let's lift up. Hold it into this position, and again, remember to keep the toe pointed towards your face. Okay, let's bring it back down. Again, let's lift up, hold it into this position. You should be feeling a nice contracture right inside this inner muscle here, and let's bring it back down. Let's lift it back up, hold it into this position. Three, two, one, bring it down. Let's lift up. Nice, strong contracture here, and let's bring it back down. You guys are doing a great job here. Let's lift up again. Hold it in this position. Three, two, one, bring it back down. Fantastic. Let's bring it up. Three, two, one, bring it down. Good. You've got four more to go. Let's lift it up. Hold it into this position. Two, one, let's bring it down. You're doing a great job, everybody. This is a tough one. Let's lift up, hold it in this position. Two, one, bring it back down. Two more to go, almost there. Let's lift up, hold it here nice and steady. Take some breaths. Let's bring it back down. Last one, you're almost there. Let's lift up, hold it. Three, two, one, bring it down. Okay, let's turn on the other side. If this position is a little too easy for you, you can actually, as Rebecca will do, she'll bring her leg in front of the other one. This will also help concentrate on that inner muscle, okay? So let's bring that leg up, hold it into this position. Three, two, one, fantastic. Bring it back down, take a big deep breath. Let's lift it back up, hold it there, three, two, one, good job, bring it down. Let's lift back up. Four, three, two, one, bring it down. Almost there, let's bring it up. Three, two, one, bring it down. Let's lift back up, hold it in this position. You're doing a great job, everybody. Two, one, bring it down. Halfway there, all right? Everybody doing okay? All right, let's lift it back up. Hold it in this position. Three, two, one, bring it down. Let's lift back up. Hold it, hold it. Two, one, bring it back down. Three more to go, almost done. Let's bring it back up. Three, two, one, bring it down. Two more to go, we're almost there. Let's bring it back up. Three, two, one, bring it down. Last one and we're almost done here. Let's bring it up. Four, three, two, one, put them down, take a big deep breath, and relax. The next set of exercises that we're gonna progress through are an advanced set of exercises. The red and white teams will continue through, but the blue team, you're all done. I would start a gentle stretching program at this time and cool down throughout this period. Okay, let's get started. The white team is gonna be doing a single leg stance, the red team that Paul is gonna be leading is gonna do single leg squats. He's gonna do 15 repetitions and then we'll be done with one set. Okay, everybody, let's begin. He's using this chair for a little bit of reassurance as so not to fall backwards. Nice and gentle through this period. How you doing there, Paul? Okay. Keep it going. 
If Rebecca wants to make this a little bit harder, she can close her eyes at this point, and that will certainly make this strengthening exercise a little bit more difficult. Keep going, we're almost there. Almost there. They're difficult. All right, let's take a break. We're gonna switch up our legs now. Okay. And for Rebecca and the white team, let's make sure that leg is a little bit bent and we're maintaining a good balance. Okay, here we go. Let's switch up the legs and let's begin. Okay, Rebecca, let's try and close her eyes, make it a little bit more difficult here. Here we go. How's our blue team leader? How's he feeling? All right. Good job. You're almost done, guys. You're doing a great job. Fantastic, Paul. Keep it up. Doing a good job here. All right, almost done. Almost finished. Great job, everybody. Now that you've completed the program, take some time to cool down. You can use this opportunity also to put some ice on your knee. I hope you enjoyed doing this program, and I hope you get benefit from this. I think your knee will improve if done three to four times a week. Once again, thanks so much for following this program. Hope to see you soon.